The only thing we have left to do today before your meeting uh, in a couple hours is to go over your packet 20-3. Now I understand a couple people said that if you got the paper packet that apparently I did not put in 20-2, I'm not sure if I put in 20-3, I apologize for that. Uh, I know I was in a hurry trying to get a lot of stuff done, but I think maybe um, that I, I put those sections in the Google Classroom and I scanned them in, maybe, I'm not real sure. But let's go through 20-3, and even if it's not in your paper packet, at least follow along with me as we go. This is a great review. All right, section one says Nazi persecution of Jews. A says the Holocaust is also referred to as the Shoah from a Hebrew word, which means catastrophe, which is also another word um, or way of saying Holocaust. B says in September 1935, the Nuremberg Laws took citizenship away from Jewish Germans and banned marriage between Jews and other Germans. C, the killing of a German diplomat provoked attacks against Jews on the night of November 9, 1938, which is known as Christiana, which you can find in your notes when you know how to spell another German word. D says, following that night of violence, the government's secret police arrested at least 20,000 wealthy Jews. E, between 1933 and 1939, some 350,000 Jews, including prominent scientists and business owners, escaped Nazi-controlled Germany. That number is also in your notes that we went through today. F says one factor that limited Jewish immigration to the U.S. was a Nazi order that prevented Jews from leaving Germany with more than $5 in their pocket. And again, that was something we talked about in your notes today. G says who had escaped from Germany, uh, Jews that had escaped from Germany on the SS St. Louis were denied permission to go ashore first in the United States in New York and later in Cuba. They ended up finding um, some islands in the Caribbean that allowed them to come in because here's why. We didn't want to take any immigrants coming to the U.S. because we were worried if we did, that would look like we weren't sticking to our isolationist policies um, and that would kind of interfere with whether or not we were officially in the war yet. Or that's at least how Germany would take it. Section 2 is all about the final solution. A says the Nazis plan to move Jews from vast areas of Europe to detention centers known as concentration camps. B says in the detention centers, healthy Jews would work as slave labor. And again, we said that they died all, I mean, again, from exhaustion. Can you imagine just dropping dead because your body is physically exhausted? It's crazy. Uh, but slave labor goes in that blank until they drop dead of exhaustion, disease, or malnutrition. C, the elderly, the sick, and young children were to be executed in mass gas chambers. And a lot of times these gas chambers would be um, camouflaged to look like showers. And I'm not going to lie to you, they did it because it would cause them to not be... Um, not not to panic and not to freak out because they would think, oh, we're just getting a shower. That's It's nothing more than that. And then, of course, when the doors were locked and sealed and everything's cut off and they had uh, an SS officer that would go to the roof and open up a hole in the roof and drop a, a can of, of gas in that would go off. And, of course, he would close it up really quick. Um, and they would wait several minutes, 10, 15 minutes or longer to make sure everybody was dead. Um, send a doctor in to check and the doctor would write one death certificate for everybody in there. I mean, you wouldn't get a death certificate per person. It was for the, the mass number of people that were all in there together. It's crazy. So C is gas chambers. D, an estimated 1.6 million people, most of them Jews, died at Auschwitz. Again, it's in your notes. Um, we just didn't have time to talk about it today. I'll finish that tomorrow. And E, historians point to a number of factors to explain that the Holocaust could have occurred um, as to how it could have occurred, including the German people's sense of injury after World War I, which we said 
uh, how could you not think that it was coming after the Treaty of Versailles ended and all those things were put on Germany? All right, that's it for today, guys. Bye.